not new at five. The city of Memphis is considering filing a lawsuit against Hyundai and Kia, citing a dramatic increase in stolen cars and the financial implications those thefts are having on the city. WREG Shea Arthur is live tonight with the latest. And Shea, this is an issue we have reported on extensively. What's new with it? Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Greg. Yeah, this is a rapid theft issue that really we've been talking about for years actually happening across the country. As for what's been happening today, the council met with attorneys uh, in their attorney client meeting this afternoon where you can imagine uh, they discussed with them this issue. It's a private meeting, not open to the public or the media, but they did vote uh, unanimously actually uh, an executive session to approve this resolution. A resolution passed in the Memphis City Council executive session this afternoon approving the city of Memphis to hire a special attorney to potentially file a lawsuit against Kia and Hyundai. The resolution says the dramatic increase of thefts are due to the defects in the vehicles, which are known to the manufacturers and capable of correction. It's no secret the theft of these vehicles is happening in Memphis. MPD reported 22,000 vehicles stolen in the past two years. Kia and Hyundai topping the list as the most stolen. Law enforcement even creating special units to tackle the issue. If the lawsuit happens, Memphis would join a growing list of other cities across the country that have already filed. It's an issue that's been considered in Memphis since the Jim Strickland administration. The WREG investigators talked to him about it in 2023. We are looking at a lawsuit like the other cities are and, and hopefully we'll have something to present to the council pretty soon on that issue about hiring a law firm. The problem has been so bad over the years we've told you about wheel lock giveaways. Long lines stretching around police precincts in Memphis shows the need. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This was from a giveaway in 2022 hosted by MPD in partnership with Kia. The police chief then telling us. I think anything that we can do to put a dent in some of the auto thefts that we've seen in this city, I think it's going to be very, very positive. Stephanie Greg, of course, we did reach out to those companies involved. The spokesperson with Kia, uh, he issued a lengthy statement saying in part, uh, the company continues to take comprehensive action to enhance security and lawsuits filed by municipalities against Kia are without merit. Again, I said it was a lengthy statement. We've included the entire thing on our website. Just click on this story. For your news leader, we're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. All right, at the very least, trying to slow down the thieves. Shay, thanks.